Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Uh, finally, let's wrap things up with our own, very own producer, Shannon. Thank you so much Hi. for filling in for me while yeah, I was gone. Yeah, I had tons of fun. Everybody so cool. said you were marvelous we and I should you. not come back. No, <laughs> that's not what I heard. They we said, don't come back. Let Shannon host this show. So uh, Lenovo has, of course, the well-known ThinkPad line, and they've got yes. some high-end stuff. But they also have a low-cost line, the idea line. They do. So um, one of their target markets is, is the budget tablet uh, owner. So they wanted to break into that market with this guy, which, which is, is called the... budget, Lenovo. right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely budget. It's only 129 It starts at 129 The version that we have here is $149, and this is the Lenovo IdeaTab A1000. Cost more because we have more RAM in it, or...? Exactly, yeah. yeah. So it has some a few better interiors. Uh, oh, okay. It comes with a dual-core Cortex-A9 uh, MCU chip, and you can definitely see... That excess, faster. especially yeah. when you do things with like the accelerometer, it's actually so for, a little. You pay slow. twenty bucks more, you get a little bit faster prompt. Yeah, yeah. See how long that takes? I think that's partly Android. So a, a lot of Android slow. devices are like that, huh? A little sluggish. They are. Yeah. It also has um one gig of RAM, sixteen gigs internal memory. It also has uh, thirty two gigs at external micro SD card slot on the side, so you can increase that memory size of sixteen gigs. Isn't enough. And then I, uh, of course, has the volume ports on the side. I have the power button up at the top with the audio jack next to it. These two are actually certainly close. The micro USB charging port and the audio jack, which yeah. may be a problem for some yeah, people. If you were it plugging it in, it might maybe get the headphones could get in Exactly. The way. But yeah. I don't know if you would be charging something at the same time. I often do that. If audio. I listen for do a you? long time, yeah. Okay. I never did that myself, yeah. so it didn't become a problem for me. Now, one interesting thing thing about the micro USB port is it's a OTG on the go, which means that you can charge things at the same time that you're using this as well, which is actually pretty useful if you have a whole bunch of different other products that you need to charge. For example, your cell phone, if you needed to charge that on the go, um, it's one, it's less than one pound, it's 0.7 pounds. So it's pretty nice there. It's about, uh, I believe that equals out to 12 ounces exactly. And it also has a really Decent battery. I wouldn't say it's great. It only lasts about six to eight hours of battery life. Uh, you can only get about six hours when you're actually doing video playback. But on a normal consumer use, if you're just browsing the web and things like that, you'll get about eight hours. It has, of course, Bluetooth on the inside, BG and N, Wi-Fi. Now, one thing that I did want to focus on is they they have a Dolby audio and two different speakers on here. So you get dual audio. You get a nice stereo sound out of these two speakers. And that was their big selling point for this is this is will be a good idea for anybody who is um, really obsessed with audio and having How does a decent it sound? tablet for sound that. Good? So if I pull up my browser, mm -hmm. so I'll play two different videos, just a couple of short seconds on here. I have Radford's review of the 925. And I'll turn this up for you. It's nice and clear. It gets loud, too. It's pretty decent. It sounds loud. good. I mean, you probably can't tell at home, but it sounds pretty good, yeah. Exactly, yeah. And then if I pull up a different video, so I'll pause this. I could do it for audiobooks. It would be fine for watching YouTube videos. Exactly, be fine. Yeah. yeah. Now, if we listen to some music, for mm. example, this is a little bit different. You'll notice a change. Oh, I got to skip this ad. I hate it when ads karaoke come on. Oh, okay. I am totally karaoke. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> that sounded pretty good. That actually... So I'll play some music that we won't get taken down. There's no for. bass. This is my friend Dale Chase. There is no bass. Yeah, and that's a big yeah. drawback of this. While it does get loud and it's very clear and crisp, yeah. it does not get you that nice bass like I as a speakers, for example. Right. So that's definitely a drawback and something that would probably keep me from purchasing it. Right. It's also now considered a little bit old because it has 4.1 jelly bean instead of 4.3, which was just released recently, even though this is brand new. This just came out a couple of weeks ago, so it's pretty brand new. Well, you'd think it'd have a later version of Jelly Bean. 4.2.2 is pretty common. Would, yeah, yeah. 4.2 4. is really yeah. nice, but 4.1, so definitely a little old. I'll save the display for last. I did want to mention on the front-facing camera right here, it does not have a back-facing camera on the plasticky back, and it's very plasticky, very cheap-looking. On the front, you get this little camera, and I'll pull up some pictures that I took. They actually don't look that great. So here's a couple of pictures I took earlier today and some I took over so the weekend. So five megapixels, eight? It is 
0.3 megapixels. Oh, that's the front facing camera. <laughs> yeah. Only a front facing camera. There's no back camera. camera. Oh, there is no dude. back facing camera. It's dude. very grainy. <laughs> it is very hard to get yeah. any photos in low that's light. That's more for Skyping, I guess, or something. Definitely like that. is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can't really get any good photos out of this uh, with just a front facing camera. Right. Now, the last thing on my list I wanted to mention is this display. And hopefully, this processor will let me get back. To the home, home, menu. home, please, home. home. Take I me go home. home. So no physical right, buttons on there for off. a home button. It's all no. capacitive. No. So when it freezes no like home that, home buttons. You're, you're... Okay, there. Okay. It froze. There you go. Which happens quite a bit. So the okay. display on this guy. <laughs> I don't think you need to go much farther. <laughs> the display is 1024 by 600. Ooh. The resolution is really, really low. Yeah. And on this seven-inch device. On, in this day and age, I would expect a much better resolution because yeah. the pixel density well, is just terrible. It's cheap. That's one hundred forty nine dollars. Definitely cheap. Even the viewing angles, though, are really I, bad on it. I think people should spend a little. I always tell people this: a cheap tablet is going to be a bigger expense because you're not going to use it. Spend two hundred twenty nine bucks, get an Nexus Seven. Yeah. Eighty See, bucks more. When I you get an Nexus Seven. the viewing angles, even turning just oh, yeah, yeah. slightly yeah, off yeah. camera, it just Holy goes. Cow. So you get outdated dark. software, really bad camera on that. <laughs> and if you uh, look at no this front facing, take a look at that. It almost gave me a slight headache because of the, the resolution. Strange looking. It's resolution. not super high. Yeah. 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 yeah, so it was just, I really didn't like that. <laughs> the display is just I'm so bad. I'm thinking if, well, why don't you do the pros and cons, so then, then we'll surprise pros, everybody with your recommendation. Pros, pretty good so sound quality with the dual Do Dolby speakers. Little to no bloatware from Lenovo, which is definitely a plus. Yeah. I hate it when companies put bloatware on there. The cons, of course, the terrible screen. Yeah. The screen's horrible. It really is bad. The perf performance, <laughs> as far as the CPU and the processing speed go, is definitely definitely slow, especially yeah. on the accelerometer, and one very, very low quality camera on the front, yeah. which is so, so bad. So, buy, try. So, I bet buy. you can guess. Hmm. 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 <laughs> even at half the price, probably a don't buy, yeah? Yeah, even yeah. at half the price, I would give it a don't buy. I would say, you know, cash out the little bit of extra money for a Nexus 7, or even the Asus which, has a 7-inch tablet, yeah. which is the same price. Well, we still like the resolution. Nexus 7 quite a bit. I think that there mm -hmm. are good choices out there. I think this in this case, Lenovo should stick to laptops. And it baffles me that Dolby those. puts his name on yeah. something that sounds that bad. <laughs> I mean, really, Dolby, come on. <laughs> all right, thank you, Shannon Morse, producers Before You Buy. Also, uh, you'll see her all the time on a lot of our shows. We really appreciate it. You'll be playing poker tonight on uh, Friday. Uh, oh, I will. Will you? I don't okay. know. <laughs> yes, I Shannon, guess you play poker? I did win some money over the weekend in Vegas. Well, there you go. You better watch out, Padre. <laughs> so uh, our resident priest is holding a poker game on Friday night. Make sure you tune in. <laughs> Shannon will be taking the pot. Thank you, Shannon. But you can, right now, you could take that Lenovo away. <laughs> <laughs>